Now, what, what you have, if you have a station blackout for a long, uh, period of time, you do have that window I was talking about to respond where you can apply emergency management measures. And this is one of the lessons of Fukushima in that there are things you can do to intervene even if you lose all electrical power. And Ukraine, like many other countries after Fukushima, adopted measures and bought equipment which to cope with a Fukushima-like prolonged station blackout. And those include uh, diesel-powered fire pumps, uh, which could be used to inject water into, let's say, the steam generators uh, if you want to continue to remove heat uh, from through the secondary system of this pressurized water reactor. Or if you had to, you could even try to inject water directly into the reactor vessel, which is harder. Um, but you need to be able to set those up and uh, align them and, and use them within that window of time. And that's not necessarily an easy thing to do. And especially if there is um, some question about whose orders you're going to follow. You know, what, what is the chain of command here at the site? Who's in control? And who, who would the staff report to uh, if you only have a matter of uh, minutes or hours to carry out these complicated actions? And th this is one of the greatest worries I have right now, because I, I know uh, talking to NRC staff, that the one of the single most important things, if you have this situation, a loss of offsite uh, or a, a station blackout, is the declaration that it's an extended station blackout, that you're not gonna get your power back anytime soon. And then you go into the emergency procedures, some of which are uh, complex and not easily reversible. And it was the timing of that declaration uh, that was really key to being able to stop the plant from melting down. And again, if you have any question about the command and control and the, uh, the authority and who's gonna make that decision, uh, then that would um, jeopardize the ability to respond quickly. Next slide. And here's an example of the portable fire pumps that have been procured in the United States uh, for this purpose. Next slide, please. Um, so the containment, uh, as I said, is once you have the uh, breach of the vessel by molten uh, fuel, uh, the containment's all you have left uh, to prevent a large release of radiation into the environment. Uh, but it uh, can be compromised, especially in, you know, certainly if you attack the plant and you breach the containment directly, but also uh, there are a number of ways in which the containments could be bypassed or breached, especially for the VVR-1000, uh, which has some modes of containment failure or bypass, which seem to be more uh, severe than U.S. pressurized water reactors. 